Good afternoon everyone, this is George from Your Local Musician and today I just wanted to do a quick uh, tutorial on creating fades in Logic Pro X. Now this is a really stupidly easy, so it's nothing complicated at all. Uh, the easiest way to do this is if you hit T on your keyboard and go down to the fade tool so let's say for instance we want to um, sorry let's come out of the fade tool for two seconds let's just go to the pointer let's move this uh, to start at the second bar go back down to our fade tool if we just bring our cursor to the front of it we zoom in and so you're in your fade tool now by default it will be set to if you right click it should be set to fade in so the easiest way to create a fade is like that so let's let's listen let's extend that for two seconds there we are so that should be more than noticeable now let's move it back to the first bar and let's just make it a little bit longer it's a little bit short Ooh, yeah. but as you can see there just from my silly mistake you can actually uh, kind of curve out the fade uh, really easily by just hold, uh, clicking down and moving it around so yeah you can really you can really you can really have a lot of um you can really control it really easily and really well so that there it is, nice straight fade. So you should it should be very noticeable if we play that again. Okay, cool. And uh, so that's a fade in. So it fade out exactly the same thing, but obviously you just do it to the end of the clip rather than the front. Fade that out. So it is faded out. Let's um, take these out for two minutes. Right, so remove fades. Uh, let's do something else. So let's um, do a pitch drop. Stay in with the fade tool again. So we'll write the fade. And if we uh, right click, you can see you've got an option there that says slow down. Now this is really really good as uh, as nice and easy as it is exactly the same with the um the fade tool so we can control and really write the fade how it affects um let's just fast forward to the to the end of of this um sample and see how that sounds and we'll move the fade around a bit and see you know uh, what different variations sound like Okay, so that's that one. Let's uh, make it a little bit more so it so it drops down a little bit harder. Just take that from here. So that's good, and we'll move it around a little bit up here. So that sustains it a little bit more um, yeah, for a, maybe a little bit more of a dramatic effect, I'd say. So not only can you do it for um, fading out, but if we just remove that again, and we'll go back to the point at all, move it to bar two. Let's zoom in again. And We do speed up now, as you can see. So that that's a, a fade, not fade in. Sorry, that's a speed up. But we'll see how it sounds. Ooh, let's zoom out. Let's move that back to bar one. So that's good. 
Uh, I, I really like that. It's, it's really nice and easy to do. Let's uh, play around with the fade a little bit. So we go back to our fade tool. And as we did with the um, the um, the slow down, the pitch drop, sorry, we'll uh, mess around with the fade a little bit and see how it sounds. So obviously that sustains it out a bit more. Let's make it a little bit uh, slow. Let's see how this sounds. So as you can see, you can really mess around with it and create some really intricate uh, details and uh, and that and it you know experiment uh, mess around with it as much as you can with your audio. I I love doing. Um, I love playing, you know, playing around and manipulating audio, uh, modulating audio. It's probably one of my favourite things as a producer to do. Uh, so yeah, mess around with it. Have a go. All right, thank you. Bye.